Hi, this is Vladimir Nemchinov, Living Life Intentionally, and today I am reminded again what a great responsibility it is to be a father and to be a husband and to be a leader of my family. See him up close, um, you'll want to. He's dressed to kill today. He looks really, really good. So today's Emmanuel's big day and um, we get to be a part of that. Um, Emmanuel's family, so if you claim them as family, if you can all join me up here, uh, mom and dad, you'll need to be super close, but everybody else, uh, we wanna invite you to join us. Come on up, we'll definitely wait. Anybody know any good jokes? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> 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 We have all sorts of fun things that we have for you. So when we're done today, um, you guys will have a certificate so that you'll be able to remember the time that we've had together today and the significance of it. And um, behind me, there's a flower that you'll need to get to take home with you as well. And um, you can, you can, or you can hold on to that too. So you can hold on to that for now. Um, today's a, a special, special day, and one of the things that I always like to talk about on days like today are, I think, two of the most important things in Emmanuel's life, and not necessarily in this order, but two of the most important things. Number one is the strength of a father. So um, on days like today, I would remind you, Vladimir, that as dad goes spiritually, so goes your home. Um, most of the time, can see a direct connection between the spiritual life and well-being of the father and the spiritual well-being of everyone in the home and that's a huge responsibility and I'm super proud of you because I have um, over the years watched immeasurable growth take place in you and I know that you'll lead well and I'm proud of you because of that and the other thing that I think is super important to talk about on a day like today is the love of a mother and there's nothing quite like the love of a mother and um, I know that you are an outstanding mama to Emmanuel, and that um, you are providing a nurturing environment for him so that he will um, grow up and love the Lord and love people and serve people. And um, I'm incredibly proud of both of you and uh, for what God's doing in your home. So um, this passage of scripture from Matthew chapter 19, the little children were brought to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and to pray for them. But the disciples, once again, opened their mouth and had something to say about that. And they rebuked those who brought the children. And Jesus said, that the little children come and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. In presenting this child for dedication, you signify not only your faith in the Christian religion, but also your desire that Emmanuel will know and follow the will of God and that our prayer would be that he would know and follow the will of God early in his life. That he would not have to be somebody who has a testimony of all of the awful things that they did to realize the love of the Father. So may he come to know him early and um, that he would follow him all of his life and that he would live and die as a Christian and come into the everlasting blessedness. In order for that to happen, um, it will be your duty as parents to teach him early the fear of the Lord, to watch over his education, that he's not led astray because there's all kinds of stuff that can do that in our world, and that you will direct his youthful mind to scripture, and that you'll keep his butt in church. That'll be one of the responsibilities that you have. Now, it doesn't say that here. It actually says that you'll guide his feet to the sanctuary. But it's, yes, it's the exact same thing. So that you make sure he keeps his butt in church that you'll restrain him from evil associates and habits, and as much lies in you to bring him up in the nurture and admonition of the Lord. Will you endeavor to do so with the help of God? If so, say, we will. We will. And now, this is not just for them. You guys get a part in this too. Um, will you, the congregation, will you commit yourselves to the body of Christ to support and encourage these parents as they endeavor to fulfill these responsibilities? And will you love this child and support this child and encourage this child and help in the nurturing process of their life in Christ? If so, answer, we will. We will. That's pretty good. I'm impressed. 
And uh, now we all get to do something that's really important, um, and that's just to pray for these parents and for Emmanuel. And today is such an important day. Um, today is not as much for Emmanuel as it is for mom and dad, and really for us. Because what we're saying is we're acknowledging that children are a gift from God. Amen? Amen. They're a gift from God, and um, we want to be good stewards of those gifts, and uh, mom and dad want to be a good steward, acknowledge that God's the giver of all good gifts, and we just want the very best for Emmanuel. So we're all going to pray together. Now, when we say we're all going to pray together, then guess what that applies? We're all going to pray together, and we're going to pray for Emmanuel. Okay, will you do that for me? All right, let's pray together. Father, we thank you for this good day, and we thank you for the gift of life, and we thank you for Emmanuel. We thank you now for um, just the gift that he is to mom and dad and to this body of believers and to the world. Lord, we thank you, and we thank you for the gift that he is to his entire family. Lord, um, it is such a privilege and an honor to be able to pray with them and to give thanks to you for life and for what you're doing. Um, but Lord, we want to be good stewards of the gifts that you've entrusted to our care. So Lord, we're dedicating Emmanuel to you just as Hannah did with Samuel. Lord, we know that you have provided this gift. We come to you and we ask that you'd watch over him all the days of his life, that you would allow him to come to know you early, that he would live his life for you and that that would bring him great joy. Um, Lord, I pray that you would give him healthy days that are here, that you'd keep him from and Lord, I pray that you give mom and dad great wisdom. Uh, we know that they want to be great parents. They love Emmanuel, and they know that you've given him to their care. So Lord, I pray that you give them wisdom, that they'd be the parents that they want to be. And I thank you for his family. A few of them who have been able to be with us today, I ask that you bless them today too. And Lord, that you allow it to be a special day for all of us as we have the opportunity to give thanks to you and to praise you and to dedicate Emmanuel. Lord, we ask this all in Jesus' name. Everyone said? Amen. Amen. All right. Well, let's see. Emmanuel, do you want to come see me for a second? This guy is just a handsome guy, right? So um, we're grateful for him, and um, we dedicate him to the Father and know that God will do all good things in his life, and we give thanks and praise for him. Amen? Amen. God bless you. God bless you. We're so God proud of you. Well, I just wanted to um, say that why we named him Emmanuel. As most of you know, Emmanuel means God with us. And it's more so for us a reminder that God is always with us. And that um, he's there for us, you know, all the time. But that's it. Thank you. Thank you, guys. We love you. Um, would you let them know, the entire family, that we love them, that we're proud of them? Let them know that real quick. That was a dedication of our son Emmanuel to God and a big reminder from Pastor of our responsibility as parents and mine as a father. And now we're going to celebrate. Party time with the family. Celebrating Celebrating Emmanuel's dedication and my birthday. Don't tell anybody. Guess who we got in there? Let's see. That's why I opened this window, obviously. We had a cute little visitor. Oh, it's such a cute little baby bird. Maybe not baby, but it's a small, tiny bird. My son's dedication was a pretty good day. We celebrated with a good lunch a Longhorn. You are dedicated to God now. You are dedicated to God now. 
You got little boy? Love you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next vlog.